Hi, we're the Ackermans. I'm Miss Savannah. And I'm Mr. Ryan. And this is our baby, Benji. Welcome to our Sunday Faith Family video. Each week, we'll be sending a video from our family to yours about how to grow in your relationship with Jesus. Just a little bit more. This week, we're going to talk about Mary. But we didn't want you to just take our word for it. So we asked some of our siblings and other kids from around Resurrection in St. Paul to help us out. Today, we're going to talk about the mysteries of the rosary. Mr. Ryan and I have been Catholic our whole lives, so we pray the rosary a lot. But not everybody is Catholic. And even if you are Catholic, you might not pray the rosary. My sister's boyfriend is 22, and he just prayed the rosary for the first time. So we asked her to interview him about it. Well, it was your first time praying the rosary, like, sir? Well, it was very interesting. I really didn't know what I was expecting going in. And I quickly found out that it was much longer than I was thinking it was going to be. And I was really confused. Um, and then I finally was told about why it was so long, about the decades. And then I started to understand exactly the reason behind it. Do you wish your girlfriend would have explained um, the rosary and how it worked to you before your first time praying? I would have loved that. It would have made things so much more simpler to me. So are you saying that if people really understand the rosary more when they pray it, it makes it more enjoyable, would you say? Yeah, I think it uh, brings more purpose to it. it. Makes people really understand why they're doing it. Um, after you prayed your rosary for the first time, uh, what was your initial feeling afterwards? Did you feel, sir? Uh, I felt good. You know, I felt good to actually, you know, participate in something like that. I've never really participated in anything like that before. So, would you pray it again, sir? Absolutely. The rosary might seem like a lot, but that's why we're here to explain it. To help us focus more on God's love for us, we pray the mysteries of the rosary. They aren't the mysteries like where you would have to collect clues and figure out the answer but stories from the Bible that teach us the wonder of God's love through Jesus and Mary. There are the joyful mysteries, the sorrowful mysteries, the glorious mysteries, and the luminous mysteries. Each mystery contains five decades, or you could call them stories. It's a sorrowful mystery of the crucifix of Jesus, of Christ, of Jesus because Jesus died to save us from sin. The fourth sorrowful mystery, Jesus takes up his cross because like it shows you Lent and like how Jesus like took the cross to die for us and save us of our sin. The sorrowful mysteries are the sad time when Jesus was preparing for the cross. They are the agony in the garden, the scourging at the pillar, the crowning with thorns, the carrying of the cross, and the crucifixion. I like the glorious mystery of the rosary because I like the one where um, Mary gets queen, uh, gets crowned queen of heaven because, you know, my name is Mary and I've always like felt like, ooh, I'm getting crowned queen of heaven because I'm so centered like that. Earlier, that, 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 that one. Jesus. Jesus' <laughs> resurrection? Yeah, yeah, ascension. That one. No, no, the resurrection. Why do you like the resurrection? Because of Easter. Because it's of Easter. Easter is the best holiday. Yeah. Ascension it means going up. I'd say probably the ascension uh, from of Jesus into heaven, conquering death. You know, rising out of hell after three days. Um, it's, you know, really kind of. I think that's kind of just the best one now, isn't it? The glorious mysteries are where Jesus shows his glory. This is where he conquers sin and death and gives us new life. They are the Resurrection, the Ascension, Pentecost, the Assumption of Mary, and Mary is crowned Queen of Heaven. The joyful mysteries are the great moments of joy from the lives of Jesus and Mary. These are the Annunciation, the Visitation, the Nativity, the Presentation in the Temple, and the Finding of Jesus in the Temple. The finding of Jesus in the temple because it's just like home alone oops we forgot our kid <laughs> so why is the nativity your favorite because of Christmas the nativity from the joyful mysteries because it's I really like Christmas and that's kind of Christmas also Jesus 
it's his birth, and he's a really important part of the Bible. So yeah, cool. What's your favorite? Um, my favorite is the wedding of Cana, and I like that because I really do like weddings. That's that's awesome. The luminous mysteries are the mysteries of light, where Jesus performs miracles. These are the baptism in the Jordan, the wedding feast of Cana, the proclamation of the kingdom, the transfiguration, and the institution of the Eucharist. And it's okay if your answer is... I don't know. Or... I don't know why. You can always learn more about our Catholic faith. Now, let's talk about some of the things that you can do with your family and in your house to learn a little bit more about these mysteries and to remember what they are. You could do a craft like some of the ones that we've seen on here. You could do a coloring page or draw your own picture. You could read the Bible stories that the mysteries come from. You could act out different mysteries with your friends or family. Thanks for watching. We sure did learn a lot. We're gonna be posting the next few weeks about Mary, so be sure to tune back in. So that more people can see this video, make sure you share it with anybody you know who goes to Resurrection or St. Paul, or who might like it. <laughs>